Hey guys, so I've had a few people ask me how I've done my ask page and as you can see when you go to my blog if you go slash ask it does show you this. Now usually people have to use a uh, FAQ page or something to have something similar but I found a way to get around that all by using a little bit of JavaScript and it appears on one page instead of having so instead of having to have a separate page just for your about or uh, FAQ or anything. Which also means if people just type in ask, they'll actually see this instead of being redirected to a wrong page or anything. Now to get this working, we need a tiny bit of code, and that will be in the description just like normal. And this is it. So all we have to do is copy this, and customize a theme, edit HTML, and you just want to scroll down all the way to just after body, and you just want to paste a whole bunch. So if I were to add it to mine, it'd be all here. Now, I already have it, so I'm going to remove this after I've shown you guys, but that is what you would do. Now, to add text above, if I just go to my blog, so here we go, it loads up. So this is the title. To add stuff above the ask box, you want to put it in between these two P tags, so right here. And to uh, add stuff below this, you would add it here. Make sense? Hopefully it does. So anything that's, so all this stuff here is here, and all the stuff below it would be in here. Now, to get the code to put inside of here, so you make sure you have the correct line breaks and all that kind of stuff. All you need to do is, yeah, I don't want to save that because I've already got it, is go back into here, add a page, and you just want to type out whatever you want with all the enters, with all the styling and stuff, all this kind of stuff. So we'll even put a link here. And then you simply go to HTML and copy and paste all of that. That way it will keep the exact styling and everything you want, as you can see, like this. And that will actually appear just like that, otherwise it will just appear in one big line and it will wrap around and it won't look all that nice. Uh, once you've done this, you can just go back, you don't need to save it, and you just paste that, like I said, between those two parts. Now, if you have issues with this and it doesn't seem to be working, the easiest way to fix it is to have a look in here. Now, this here is going to be the entry and the way we get that is right click inspect element and go all the way up till you don't get this one but the one below that so you just get this whole entire box highlighted then if uh, then you want to click double click on here where it says id entry id host class post anything like that if it has class it wants to be dot entry on this page as i have if it has id entry then you would have a hash and then entry here the same thing goes for this this part here you actually need to right click on the title that you that you added to your ask and just check the id or class that this one has so mine is class title yours may be title post post title anything similar to that um, it's also the first thing underneath the entry usually and that should be all. So this code, like I said, will be in the description. If you have any issues, either send me an ask or just leave a comment below. Bye, guys.